Welcome to another electric performance video. In this video, we are going to see how quickly you can deliver packages with an electric Ford Transit. You know, this is an interesting test because this, we've driven in the city, we've driven on the highway, on some other channels, we've done a factory tour, we'll have links to those in the description. But what happens if you need to get your packages to your destination on time? It's time for a performance track review of the Lightning E-Motors Transit. All right, let's talk about driving dynamics of the Lightning E-Motors. And actually, before we talk driving dynamics, let's talk about how this is constructed and why we're doing a track test. Uh, this is a Ford Transit shipped by Ford that uh, Lightning E-Motors, a Colorado-based company, puts an electric drivetrain in. They use two 43 kilowatt hour battery packs in this Transit version I'm driving now to have an 86 kilowatt hour battery pack storage. Gives it about 125 mile range. Now, I haven't done any range testing on this particular one, but I will soon. And, um, you know, one of the interesting tests are vans are an important piece of business to get things from A to B on time. So if you're running behind, if your driver needs to get there in a hurry, you need to make sure they can handle well and they can actually handle being driven hard. A lot of electric vehicles overheat very quickly and there's many downsides to uh, an EV that if you don't build it properly. So I'm, I'm here on track at IMI trying to see if Ford, uh, if the Ford Transit itself is good in terms of suspension, calibration, and braking, and if the lightning systems that are put in there are calibrated nicely as well. So we're doing just a little bit of a drive here. We have 160 kilowatts of power available to me, which is also translated to about 800 pound-feet of torque, the way that it has the reduction gear set up. And let's start picking up the pace. Instantly, really slow steering rack. You got to put in a lot of steering, but that's to be expected. The car also retains the factory ABS and ESP uh, from the Ford system. So it's kicking in there. I can see it flashing away even though I've selected it off and that's because I'm really approaching vehicle, li uh, vehicle limits. So what we're doing now is just wide open throttle, plenty of power. Uh, we actually just finished shooting another video with this and it um, didn't overheat and it's still not overheating. It's still providing full power, which I can't say for many other electric vehicles. So here we are getting it into the corner. Big power on the exit. Sounds really good. Single gear in this one. I have to say the suspension calibration, the steering is truly amazing. Look at this thing. It's big speed down the straightaway. We're driving a big 350 Transit. This is as long, as tall, as wide as they come. And we are full limit handling around this track. <laughs> and it's not tipping over. It's handling it quite well. Over the hump. Whoa! Um, you can definitely hustle this thing if you have to get packages delivered on time. No question. I would argue this is faster than the gas ones too because you have all that immediate electric power available to you at full blast. We're using about 3% state of charge per lap, which is about a mile long. So we're using quite a bit of energy well under one mile per kilowatt hour. <laughs> I have to take a weird line into this corner because that cone is there. Um, the transitions are awesome. You can just fling this thing around. Now granted, this is an unloaded transit. We have 15 seats in this particular one, but you can also get one with 18 seats and you can get a cargo version as well. And man, this thing just freaking moves so well. <laughs> Gotta say, this passes the performance test and passes my expectations massively. I did not expect it to handle this well, to feel this sharp, and to not flip. It really, you can just go into a corner, crank this thing over, and if you get a little too aggressive, it just kicks a little ABS on and brushes the brakes and tries to settle you down. And it handles way better than some cars that I've driven on this track. And this is a really tight, twisty track, a lot of transitions. So that top heaviness you would think would really cause it to flip over. Here's time in filming right now. <laughs> and uh, yep, he's laughing at how silly the transit looks out here. But hey, I gotta say, an impressive piece of kit right here. Gotta say, it passes the performance test and you can definitely get your packages delivered on time. All of the thermal management system cools and heats the battery pack, the motors and everything. So I can hear the little AC chiller on right now, cooling down the battery. And, um, but, but no limit, no power limit, nothing like this, just awesome. So cool. Thanks for watching Electric Performance. Please subscribe, share, and hit the like button.